Hey guys, welcome back to Future Well. Today we are going through Apple as the circle of competence so we have a better understanding of what Apple is, where it was, and where it's taking us to the next step in the future. Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak was the founder, two college dropouts that joined forces and created this mega empire of technology that we still use today, 45 years later. It has been a tremendous amount of effort from Steve Jobs to go through the hurdles of possibly bankruptcy in the past to creating innovative products such as the iPods the iMacs, the iPads, and anything that has an I in front of it is something that we still use today. It's still pushing out new generations of it each year. iPhone, for example. I personally have gone through many Apple products. So today we try to get a better understanding as time goes on. And like I said, it's been 45 years since Apple has been in existence. We sort of lose touch in where it started and where it began unless you start doing research on Wikipedia references to what Apple used to be. They didn't have all products that successfully made it console system that was competing with Sega at the time and only PlayStation. It did not do well, it only lasted a year, but obviously they had to scratch that and they moved on. So now we have the iMac with the hockey puck mouse. That was also not a success. People were complaining about it, but you know, as, as a product, and I'm sure if we looked at the timeline during these fails, that the stock would have reflected these uh, hiccups at the time. But overall, Apple has been a very stable company, and where Steve Jobs has taken this company to where it is today has been a tremendous feat. And he has, unfortunately, he passed away on October 5th of 2011, only the young age of 56 years old. So here we see his final days, and before he went, he actually picked the his successor, which is Tim Cook, back in 1998. He was the mastermind of operations, and you can see he was pushing out products without any delays. Although people were cramming and waiting for all these products, there was never a shortage, and he has successfully consecutively been able to produce and push out products and still innovate even though Steve Jobs is no longer here with this. So Tim Cook has been with Apple for a very long time as well. With all that being said, Apple is still a strong company. Now we have things like FaceTime that we use terms like, you know, FaceTime opposed to video chat. Although they, they were not the originators of it, they enhanced it, they improved and they marketed it. So now it's always something that is gonna be there when every time we mention FaceTime. As of today, March 6, the market closed Apple at 121. You can see the revenue, the net income, and each year Apple has been very, very successful. Although you may see 2014 going back a little bit, but that was just a minor thing. Across the world, people line up for any new innovative products that Apple pushes out. There is a mass following of it. They are into it. They want this product because they know. Here you can see Apple has gotten surpassed $2 trillion in the last two years. And we are now 2021. And now the new innovation is the Apple car. The new EV that Apple is looking into producing with the, with the car manufacturing. First they spoke with uh, I believe Hyundai supposedly that hasn't happened yet but they are still going forward with this Apple car I'm not sure what design they are looking into but if you search it online there are so many speculation on what this car will look like again today Apple closes at 121 and 42 cents uh, just to point out uh, Warren Buffett of Berkshire Hathaway just in dividends alone collected 755 million dollars in dividends alone that was his annual dividend I I believe Apple is a long-term hold. It is a buy. Make sure you do your homework, your due diligence to see where the intrinsic value of Apple is. If you feel confident in this stock, I would go. I personally do have shares of Apple. I did collect my dividends as well. Obviously, it's not as much as Warren Buffett, but it was definitely nothing to sneeze at. It is definitely a good company to invest in. This will sum up my circle of competence for Apple, Inc. Thank you.